before we get interrupted again. Uh, sorry for the interruption, guys. YouTube never craps out on us, and for some reason it did. Stuffed omelet. Let's go. No. Breakfast. Had to make it nice and simple. So I'm still sick. Also, I went to work today. I was really, really freaking late. And I just... Yeah, you were really late to work. I woke up and I'm like, I wasn't going to call in sick. Hello, Kelly. I wasn't going to call uh, call in sick. So I just kind of woke up, texted my boss, said, I just woke up. I'm sick. I'm going to be late. And be, he'll get into the waffle maker. Don't you worry, girl. <laughs> what, did, what, what? I'll get into it right now. What do you want to know about the waffle maker, MB? It worked out great. It exploded at one point. That it sucker did. exploded. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, damn. Hi, Gina. What's up, Walter? Did they stick? No. We, I used no. MB. I used butter spray. It did not stick. But Jamie overstuffed the second one to the point where it exploded. But I was smart, and I put the silicone mat underneath the waffle maker. So if it did explode, it didn't make a mess all over the counter. Yeah, we don't know how it exploded. I think I, I just overstuffed, he overstuffed it. it. And all of a sudden, I hear, I'm editing a video, and I hear, pop! And Kathy's like, oh shit, like, it exploded! Oh shit, it exploded! <laughs> that shit went everywhere. It went everywhere. Why did it explode? Jamie overstuffed it. He put way too much filling in there. Well, although it doesn't ever like. I read the entire book. So and she it, lost the book. I lost the book. So I never said anything about just putting eggs in there. It was usually like waffles and then like cooked eggs and then waffle mix on top. So this is the first time we're like using it. I like to experiment with it. So this is going to be one of those tools that are that is used quite often, I'm thinking, depending on how this tastes. Because when it was done, just in case Hello, the middle wasn't all the way done, I put it back in the oven to keep warm with more cheese, you know, over over it. So it's pretty much a New York Thank you, Paisley. Uh, Thank you, girl. New York Appreciate bacon, that. egg, and cheese, salt, pepper, ketchup on white bread, toasted. And I'm gonna add some sour cream too. Is it ruined? No, I don't think so. I haven't tasted it yet. Hello, John. I don't think it's ruined. How's it going? So, hello, Tricky Mickey. Jamie, how are you hello, feeling? Hello, Tricky Mickey. How are you, girl? Hello, I... Marie. How you doing, girl? Hi, Marie. Uh, how am I hello, feeling? Hello, Gina. I'm still sick, but my spirits are high. I had such a good run tonight that. And I was feeling like garbage. All the, as soon as I got home, I had some ibuprofen and I laid down for like 25 minutes. Then it was gonna rust, rust my eyes. And then I went to the store with Khaki and picked up our, our, our dinner tonight. And then I came home and I messed around in the cookie corner for a little bit. And then I went from my run and that's when everything kind of opened up. It was like the perfect storm for a beautiful run. It was chilly, but there was no wind. It was lightly drizzling. It is a very comfortable uh, run. Almost where like, this is gonna sound very corny, but it's like, you kinda, uh, Hello, Mike. You kinda, Hello, Matt. you kinda leave your body for a minute and you, you look around and you see how, how pretty everything actually is. <laughs> very weird, I, I don't ever think like that, but tonight on my run, I really started thinking like that. I'm like, this is freaking nice. And then Paul Stanley singing forever, which two nights in a row, repeat, repeat, repeat. That's the only song I listen to. What's up, Matt? Really? Yeah, two nights in a row. Snow this weekend, John? Oh, you're lucky, Paisley. Oh, it was actually snowing earlier for us. Light flurries. Nothing stuck. Earlier today, it snowed too. Yeah, nothing stuck, but it snowed. What's happening? Nothing. About to eat our dinner. Technically, my breakfast, Kaki's, uh, sa I have a salad too. 
Kaki homemade the dressing herself, mm -hmm. which came out good. Love the blue, love the blue tie dye, Jamie. Thank you, Cat's mom. Yeah, Cat mom, I like that too. Kaki says they look good in this color. It does. It makes this like natural skin tone like pop. You're eating your waffle contraption. Ha ha. Yeah, of course. Everything I make in the, my TikTok videos, I'm eating. I'm eating that night. Yeah, who said that? <laughs> um, I, I think so many people are used to seeing videos. Thank you, Tricky Miggy. Appreciate that, girl. People just make the food. For, what kind of dressing? For content. Mm -hmm. And not they a lot of actually people actually it. make the food and then actually eat it live. Gotcha. What kind of dressing did you make? Okay, so it was really simple. Um, it was red wine vinegar, tiny bit of canola oil, salt, pepper, garlic, and Italian seasoning, and Parmesan cheese. Yeah. I shook that sucker up in a container, poured it on top of Jamie's salad, and voila. And I'm hoping I'm going to be able Super to, simple. I'm hoping I'm going to be able to at least finish my meal tonight because my throat is still all kinds of screwed up. Probably not the best idea for me to do curly fries. What's up, Nelson? Sounds bomb. Well, thank you, Mike. Our son thought it was good. I made it for him first. And then Jamie tried it, and he thought it was good. Hello, oh. Nelson. How you doing, man? How, How you doing, you Daddy B? How can you eat anything after those liquids? Um, since I started doing these, these veggie shakes, and I've been doing them for a couple months now, four, three months, four months, since we got back from Florida... Um, it's hard. I get full pretty damn easy. That's why my meals haven't been as big. I'm telling you this right now. I'm probably not going to finish this. Number one, I'm sick. And number two, um, I don't know how this is going to taste. Hello, Rosie Loves Fries. Welcome. Hello, Seychelles. Nelson said, unfortunately, I tested positive. But other than oh, that, good. Oh, no. Really? Sorry to hear that, buddy. Damn, Nelson, that sucks. I'm so sorry. I wish I could wait this late to eat with you guys, but my stomach is hangry around 6.30. <laughs> That's how she was. Well, hello, Walter. What? What'd you look at me like that for? You said that's how she was, meaning I was you. hangry at like 6 o'clock. Before you started eating uh, with me at night? You were. Oh, yes. In the beginning. Mm-hmm. It took Kaki a couple weeks to get used to everything. And then once she when she did, she started to rock and roll. Strut and stroll. And we looked forward to our dinner together. So it's a commitment and it's something you have to want to do. When I worked in an Italian restaurant, we made a balsamic vinegar. That was so good. I'm sure. I'm sure that was delicious. Alright, here we go. I never worked in an Italian restaurant, but... I worked in a place where we made our own dressings, and yes, they were really good. Wow, this tastes like an egg sandwich. Wouldn't you know? So it's, guys, <laughs> I didn't even tell you. It's stuffed with ham and cheese. That's it. I'm going to try it with sour cream. Well, and that's yes. good, Nelson. Knock on wood, man, because that's what I, you know what? Knock on wood. Oh, wow. I like it. You don't want to lose your taste or smell, because that would suck. Why is your nose bleeding? Is it bleeding again? Two nights in a row. No. Hey, you got me last night. You said my nose was bleeding. You're funny. His nose isn't bleeding. Uh, <clears throat> sour cream. Yeah, I'm going to try the sour cream. My mom always got sour cream spinach with her egg omelets. Always. And I think she got turkey, which I meant to get. I meant. Thank to get. you, Marie, and thank you for ever booted that person. Let's see. Damn liar! Well, you know what? My 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 nose was bleeding last week for the for my run, so I think that's where they're getting it from. Oh, she tested negative. Well, that's good. Stay away from her. Stay away, Nelson. From who? His girlfriend. Oh, yeah. She's pregnant. I know. I know. They're having a boy named Thomas. <laughs> you don't think I forgot. You're wrong. You? You're Hello, wrong. Stephanie. <laughs> Hello, That's Stephanie. That's the best omelet. 
ham and cheese. You don't think turkey would be better? No, ham and cheese is usually like a good omelet. With bacon and cheese, sausage and cheese, yeah. Alright. Let's try it with sour cream. Watch sour cream be the, the game changer. <clears throat> Jamie's beard is epic. Do you do you use beard oil? I use oil, but not it's not beard oil. I use a certain oil for my whole body. His brother is like super obsessed with his beard. And like buys all like the beard oils and the shampoos and like I don't do any of that. He I like buys all, buys all like the special stuff. Jamie does not. <laughs> I don't I don't I don't put anything in my hair and I don't put anything in my my beard hair. I'm all natural. Just water. Just water. And you know what? Some might think I look dirty, but I'm not. I'm clean. And I smell nice. You always smell nice. I do smell nice. Like, I'm a very good smelling man. I probably do a lot more than most men do. Would you say that? You, you know my routine after I get out of the shower. Would you, would you say that? Yes. I, I like to not only be comfortable, but I like, I like to smell comfortable. And I always like to say I smell like um, bananas in the beach. Feeling better. Not really, my throat still hurts. My throat still hurts, I keep on getting nauseous here and there. My legs are killing me. I had a hard time sleeping last night because of my left knee, my, sorry, my right knee. But that's because of running. So I'm just, it's always something. It's always something. I'm hoping I'll be better by Friday. Drink hot ginger tea with honey. No pizza tattoo for you. I got a pizza tattoo. <laughs> no pizza tattoo for you. I do. Can't show it. Jamie, do you like mustard? It's on his butt. He can't show it. We always eat deli mustard on our egg sandwiches. I even put mustard in my scrambled egg mixture before I cook it. Really tasty. No, I've never even thought about doing that. No. But Paisley, you know what? That's not weird at all. No, I don't think so. Only because when I make egg salad, I always put mustard in with egg salad. So I feel like that would definitely work. I mean, what's the difference? Egg salad or cooked egg, it doesn't matter. It's the same thing. You're over it? Restless leg, leg syndrome. syndrome has been full gear for the past three days. I'm over it. All right, MB, I'm going to have to agree with you with that because my restless leg syndrome sucks. Like, have you ever, like, experienced where your legs, no matter what way you lay, no matter what position you lay, they just ache? Or they just can't get comfortable. That's how mine is. <sighs> hey, look, Jimmy Jam. Me. He's peeking in, not feeling yeah, it's so horrible, great today. Can this year end already? I yeah, know. I hear you, buddy. <laughs> well, hello, Jimmy Jam. But yes, MB, I can totally agree with you on that because I do do suffer with that as well. Why can't I see tonight? My microphone's in the way. Riz in the house? What's up, Riz? I'm going to get this thing, MB. It's called The Real Athlete. It's $169.99. Heating pad and lots of baths. And lots of baths. MB, Google this whenever you have a chance. It's called The Real Athlete. It's these two... Um, they look like leg sleeves. They're black and blue. And it's a heating pad. It's a massager. Comes with a big stick as the remote. And you actually look like you got robot um, legs. I'm, I'm going to be ordering it probably this weekend. <laughs> See, here's the thing. Our daughter's birthday is soon. That kind of sounds like what they put on me in the hospital. I'm like, they contract. They do this. Your legs. Well, it's heat and massage. Mm hmm. Yeah. That's what they put on you in the hospital after you have a C section because you can't walk, obviously. I need a hug. And that's what they put on your Bring legs. And that was like the 
I would hug you. You know that. That was like the best feeling when they put those things in my legs. Did you guys cook this? No, we, we cooked this. Yeah. I made the TikTok video. No, we cooked this. This is a homemade salad. Cat's Mom, it's called The Real Athlete, I think. I, I googled, this is how I found it, I googled uh, knee massager. Must you burp? Yes, he must burp. Who asked? Doesn't matter. He burps. That's do, what he I, does. I do. I just got done drinking a shit ton of veggies. <clears throat> just finished eating lasagna and a big salad. So bloated right now. I feel bloated too, Johnny B's. And I I didn't even finish. Oh, uh, hello, sandwich. Johnny. How you doing, man? You, you had lasagna and a big salad. Johnny, I see the food you cook. Your food looks good. It looks really good. If I didn't have to burp, I wouldn't. But I drank three freaking... He's got good burps. That's what I'm saying. He's got good burps. I drank three freaking huge shakes before I eat. That uh, looks delicious. It is delicious. Thank you. What about my salad? It's quite delicious. Can't see my salad. Mine's there too. I'm going to get into it. I don't know how I'm going to be able to... I don't know how long this is going to last with me being able to eat until my throat starts really You're saving the scratchy. last of your peanut butter M&M's, your faves. Paisley. Those happen to be my favorite M&M's, the peanut butter M&M's. I love those. We're in New York. Where are we in New York? Care Bear County. I don't like my salad. I don't like my salad. Do you make salad with bears like or heads of lettuce? I make my salads with heads of lettuce. Um, sometimes I do buy bags of salad, but tonight I bought heads of romaine. So that's how I made my salad. And I added my own shredded carrots, the peanut butter, my red onions, onions, my tomatoes, my chicken. Hello, Munchkin. Hello, um, my milk. Are you talking about peanut butter M&M's or peanut M&M's? Peanut butter M&M's. No, no, no. The yellow bag is the winner, guys. Peanut butter M&M's. John made fish sticks tonight. Alaskan Pollock. Not bad. Very cool. All right, let's have an M&M debate right now. Peanut what? butter M&M's. Hands down my favorite. Guys, we're all going into the store together, and we get to pick our <laughs> own M&M's. What's everybody picking? I'm a yellow bag all the way. Got to be the peanut M and M's. No red bag. Why it, are you guys not affectionate? Because that's not what we do on here. I saw a video of you all laughing, and I loved it. We listen. We're every relationship is different. We're not affectionate on here. We're combative on here, <laughs> but we're nice to each other as well. Peanut butter or nothing. Lol. Peanut. Yes. Paisley, peanut butter or nothing? Uh, peanut butter M&M's, my favorite. Thank you, my milk. That's two. The pretzel ones. Yellow. There we go. It's my girl. Hello, Chrissy. How are you, girl? Pretzel M&M's, I don't think I've ever tried. Pretzel M&M's, I've had those, peanut, but I was not a fan. Yeah. I was not a fan of those. Peanut? Yeah, it's another one. Do you, know what, I, pants. Do you know what I saw? Do you know what I saw at um, Walgreens yesterday? Too. Another peanut? Oh, my girls are coming in for me. Told you, the yellow bag is better. Psh, Guess what? Nothing. This, nothing. on the other hand, not so great. Yeah, you only like it when it's not yours. Just going to put that salad down. PB, thank you, Cheryl. Come on, Jimmy Jam. Tell what them you they're on the wrong site. They're only looking for um, <laughs> fans only. <laughs> Need the peanut crunch. Right, Beasley? Right, girl? Peanut clusters. I just got a big container of peanut butter ones from Costco. The best. Thank you, Mike. When we, went, when we went to Florida, Kaki asked me what I wanted for my snack. I said the yellow bag of peanut M&M's. Plain is pizza combos. Pizza combos are very good. Here's the thing. If you're a Reese's fan, you really enjoy those peanut butter M&M's. Well, 
Exactly, Nora. 100% my MILF. You're allergic to nuts, so plain for you. And regular M&M. Well, if know. Nelson was in here, he can't even, like, touch peanuts, so <laughs> he can't even be involved. Really? Yeah. Nelson, Nelson is intolerant to peanuts. Oh, yellow bag for me? Yeah, when we went to Florida, I told Kaki, she's like, what do you want for your snack? I said, peanut M&Ms. I like the regular Oh, I'm drinking Mickey. You got the peanut butter ones, too. Oh, yeah. I've never had the, um, I never had the pretzel ones, but I do like the regular ones. Janine wants to know if you're feeling better. Uh, not really. Not really. My throat <clears throat> is... Is, 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 is crappy and I'm nauseous that comes and goes tired achy I got a cough thank you for asking though <clears throat> oh, it's still peanuts for Jimmy Jam Jimmy Jam said peanuts peanut ones oh he did okay I'm sorry buddy I didn't see it That's he just said it now <clears throat> mm-hmm how are you dealing with the rising grocery prices? I don't think our prices went up. To be honest, our prices did not go up. I don't think. Kaki does Kaki is the one that goes shopping. I don't I don't look. <laughs> Unless Jamie never looks when he goes shopping. He just grabs and goes and then the total is the total. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Have we had the brownie ones, mm. the M&M's? Yes, I have. Those are good too. But, but like shit the Christmas peanut dinner? butter ones are still my favorite. What do you have, John? What do you have going on with you? S same what, what's going on with me. Sore throat, a little bit of an ear infection. You know what? I took our son back to the doctor today. <coughs> because he has like this completely horrible, like creepy sounding cough. So I took him back, and they're like, "Do you want?" They well, the um, the nurse was like, "Do you want him to have a COVID test?" And I was just like, "He's looking at me. He's like, no, mommy, no." I'm like, "I'm like, we'll see the doctor, and then we'll you know decide upon you know the doctor's discretion." Hey, Percy. Hello, girl. And then. You know, the doctor came in and the doctor examined him and was like, well, he's had this cough. And like, he had the flu. I was like, this cough lingered, but his cough got really bad. As yeah, you can, as hear, you it can hear it now. I can hear it now. And she was like, all right, well, I'm going to give him a COVID test. And he looks at me and he's like, no. <laughs> and I was like, well, the doctor said you have to have it. <laughs> so you have to have it. Like, I honestly wanted him to have one, but like. I will secretly be like, no, just let the doctor decide. So, like, he doesn't look at me like I'm the bad person. Like, you just want me to have the COVID test. Yeah, he's he's clear, though. So, Everything yeah, is no, good. he was negative. He was negative. Lungs so. are clear. His lungs are clear. Just he, cold. he didn't have COVID. So, he just he have a really nice nasty cough. What well, they, they gave him a steroid Hope you had a nice it. Christmas, Prissy. They gave him a steroid, so hopefully he'll be drying up in a few days. Uh... I'm cold now. Uh, Paisley said, asked, have, have they taken an x-ray? An x-ray? No. Um, they listened to him, and his lungs are clear. Oh, he's, not man. Having, he's not having trouble breathing, and his oxygen was like 99. So, there's no need for an x-ray. I don't like doing this, alright? What I'm about to do. And... I'm giving myself an out here because I'm sick and I don't feel good. And the foods and cravings that I usually get come and go. And like, I'll want pizza one minute and then I won't want nothing. And right now, I don't want this. Thank you, Prissy. I hope so too. My mom, He's not feeling terrible. His, his clock just sounds bad. He feels fine. Jamie, look out for the salad. Thank you, Paisley. I would have stepped on that because uh, that's when I usually knock over my shakes. Um, <laughs> my mom has got a fresh batch of Christmas, Christmas crack. crack behind me. 
and she made it with pretzels and Kit Kats and a whole bunch of different stuff. And races. Jamie, stay home tomorrow. No. I mean, I could. I could text my boss right now and say, listen, I'm still feeling like garbage. I could text him tomorrow morning. Your dad's really feeling like My dad is bad. My oh, dad is not good. so bad. Um, you I also wanna... have the flu run through this house. And knock on wood, I don't know how the hell I didn't catch the flu. I want to take, I want to take a different approach of how getting sick, how I usually do. I, listen, I'm a big baby when it comes to, when, you know, when I do get sick and I, uh, I lay down and Kaki takes care of me. I'm never against resting, but right now I want to do the whole, just ignore it and kind of keep on doing everything the same. So that's what I've been doing. I did it yesterday and I did it the day before. What? Today was hard, but I got yeah, through. Yeah, a minute. Hold on. We'll see. I, you know, I don't know. I guess it, it all depends on how I feel tomorrow. If I would have felt like I could not have worked today, I would have just straight up not gone to work. I would have told my boss, but... Right yes, now. Prissy. I just want to push through it. <laughs> what did Prissy say? She says, all men are when sick babies. Yeah, no, I'm... Big, giant babies. Yeah, I'm no different. Nope. No different. I've been pretty damn good, pretty damn tough, though, as of late. I could hardly catch the live, so thank you, Nashville. Thank you, Jimmy. I appreciate that, buddy. You know what? This is going to sound... It's not a big deal, right? But I like to... This is another reason why I'm doing it. Everybody's getting sick. Family members, people I know outside of uh, my family, like people from work. And, you know... For me to say, yeah, I went out running, sick, did everything normal. It sucks being sick and it hurts, but I pushed through it. Gives me that little, uh, that that step above feeling like, oh yeah, I'm too damn tough to sit back and relax. <sighs> but I'm not going to finish with dinner, I can tell you that right now. You guys rock? Well, thank you. Wish I was... Party, Party with y'all. <laughs> you, you know what? Believe it or not, me and Kaki are not party animals. We used to be. We used to be. We're not anymore. I bet you the next time we go to the city. What was that? What's he doing? He asked for milk. Oh. I give him milk. And he tastes it and goes, I asked for water. I swear. All right. You know what I said to him? They were both on our bed before, and they were giving me a hard time. I said, listen, I'm about done with this, all right? I got a chunky little minion <laughs> and a chunky little fawn girl. <laughs> and she just looks at me like she was so shocked that I said that to her. <laughs> um, she is a Pat farm girl. The, the bull. <laughs> what? She is a farm girl. Mullins? What's up, Mullins? She looks like a farm girl. What did you like drinking in the day? Today I didn't drink anything. No, back in the day. Like, oh, back What in the was day? your drink? Me and Kaki were Long Island iced tea guys and girls. Yeah, you should drink White Russians. Well, Those I went gross. from doing Long Island iced teas to White Russians. Very, very short stint with that. And then my drink became gin and tonic. Remember that? Oh, yeah, the gin and tonic, yeah. Never had elk or, um, or deer. I'll get you water, buddy. Do you guys eat deer or elk? No. We don't. When I read out a question and answer, do you not hear me? I just said that and answered it. I was just oh, wondering no. where your head is right now. I'm you sorry. can actually Obviously, tell them where my head I, is because from what happened today when me and I you were driving. Paying attention. So, yeah. what happened before we even left the house? Like we had to go like shopping for like our dinner, 
and Jamie comes down. He's like, can you itch my back? So I itched his back. And then he walks away and he comes back. He goes, can somebody itch my back? And I'm like, I just itched your back. <laughs> He's like, did I ask you that already? And I said, yes, you did. And I itched your back. So then, like, we leave the house to go, like, buy the ingredients for our dinner. And then, normally, Jamie would just, like, pull a U-turn. But Jamie just started to drive straight. And then he started to take, like, these random back roads. <laughs> and I'm like, what are you doing? He goes, I don't know why I didn't just turn around. But I just, you know, I just decided to go this way. No, I didn't know why I was going. <laughs> I didn't know. He's I, like, I don't even know where I'm going. I meant to turn around. <laughs> He's like, I don't know why I didn't turn around, but it's like you one know. of those things where I always do a U-turn. And I'm looking at him like, why are we driving through like these really dark, isolated back roads? <laughs> yeah. What are you about to do to me? Yeah, no, I just, <laughs> I usually when we leave, I make a U-turn. Yeah. And for some reason, I on just, the main road. Yeah, on the main road. <laughs> and then for some reason, I just kept on going straight, and then I made a right, and then I. And because he's sick, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I th my I'm very. I honestly think it's because he doesn't feel well. And my memory's not good as as. And he just didn't know like uh, what to do. I do feel like that. I'm like, and I said to you, I'm like, do you feel okay? Yeah, like, Jackie feel actually okay? was like looking at me. I was like, are you okay? I'm like, D are you okay? Like, and I'm like, yeah. This is not a normal way we would take just to go to like the store. <clears throat> Like, he took, like, a very random, like, detour. Got high and lost my phone. Oh, well, got distracted eating. <laughs> yeah. Oh, very nice, did they? You were eating when I was getting beaten. <laughs> <laughs> Holy moly donut shop. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, see, I don't think I've ever had a moment like that where I... You know what I mean? Got. Well, actually, I wasn't a big. wasn't into smoking, but. I've had plenty of drinking nights like that. Heggy, I don't think I'm gonna eat the second one. The bread is, is messing with my throat. Yeah, throat. But I do have some Christmas crack. That's what is standing right in front of these two buttons. Fucking The bread is messing with your throat, but that's not going to. That's harder than that. Jamie, your last 30 days in New York <coughs> should be dedicated to pizza. Well, it's funny you say that, Jimmy, because I don't think I'm going to do like a full pizza dinner every single night. But I do think I'm going to start inquiring maybe two slices a night, longer than 30 days. I don't want to get to Florida and then crave pizza. I want to get to Florida and say, I'm good with pizza for a while. <laughs> to the point where I could take a long enough break. Even their Domino's is bad. Florida pizza. Even their Domino's is bad. <laughs> and then get to Florida and then have such a long break from pizza that even Florida pizza is going to taste good. And listen, I'm still a firm believer that there are spots in Florida that have really good pizza. Are you guys on the countdown to Florida? Hell yeah, yes, JD. We are. What's up, brother? Are you moving yes, down we are, south? Man. Yes, we are. Moving in 30 days or vacation? No, no. not in 30 days. No, no, no. We got Longer a couple, than 30 days. We got a couple more months left, but we're moving to Florida. A few months. I'm not going to Florida. Shut up, Beavis. I'm not going to Florida. You can't make me. All right. Hold on. I'm going to go What? I'm going to my sister just moved down. What part of Florida? We're not saying that far yet. Pizza's always good. Munchkin, how's your pizza? How do you? How's your pizza near you? Uh, Florida is amazing. Come on down. We can't wait. We are. Is that your kiddo? Who? Beavis? Yeah. Well, chunky minion. He's not feeling good either. So his schedule is all. Uh, you know, crazy like ours. So, but I'll tell you one thing. The one cool thing that I do miss about, because when I call into work, 
I'm one that wants to keep my kids home with me. <laughs> so, but they're on vacation. So maybe, and Khaki's got to go to work tomorrow. So even if I were to call in tomorrow, I just feel like too much rest is going to make me feel crappier. Out and about moving and working is uh, is like the, the you know for some reason it just it wakes you up. You know what I mean? Jamie, as a New Yorker, I will say, but the weather makes up for it. I never thought I would be one to choose weather over pizza, but. At this point, I cannot stand the cold weather no more. I did 2,070 today. Uh, there we go. 1335 pace. Very nice, Prissy. Very nice. Yeah. Speaking of paces, guys, since I've stopped wearing socks on my runs, I haven't went over nine minutes pace. Like, even sick. Today was, I was very shocked. Today was an eight, eight minute, 30 second pace. Crazy. Don't know, don't know why I'm just, you know, still have the foot pain, still have the knee pain, but I'm able to run faster without the damn socks. Don't ever plan on going back to them. What happened? <laughs> what happened? I was... <clears throat> Telling somebody in the background that they need to mind their P's and Q's. P's and Q's. Uh, Cross their T's and dot places, their I's. Especially Italian places too. <laughs> I think that this is a really good place in Florida. This is a guy on TikTok that I follow. I don't know his name, but he's a bold guy. He always starts his TikTok videos with, "Is it on? Are we rolling? Is it on?" <laughs> Hello, Carolyn. Hello, Carolyn. Hey, Tracy. How you How's your third Hello, lady? Hello, Tracy. Still sick. Still sick. I really should just nut up and shut up and eat nothing but soup tomorrow night. Jimmy won't do that, though. Jamie, can I give you a word of advice? You can try, Jimmy. You can try. You can try, but um, and I have a feeling I know what you're gonna say. But let's 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 see what you got. <laughs> <clears throat> let's see what you got. Sour cream is good with the French fries. You want to try mine? Trivia: Do you know what P's and Q's actually means? No, I do not, Walter. I just heard that as an expression as a kid. Mind your P's and Q's. I do not know what it means. Could be me, could mean something bad. But if you want to enlighten me, absolutely, I'm willing to listen. I follow the same guy, Pizza Shop, Jamie. Is that what is is that's what it's name? I don't know what part of Florida he's in, John. Oh, hello, Beverly. He has a pizza Come place, on, and he's always Merry Christmas. His pizza looks really good. It looks like New York pizza, and I think he's from like Brooklyn or the Bronx. Mm. Watch Mind your, your manners. phrases and questions. Watch your is manners what is means? what it means. Watch your manners. Well, I, then I definitely think that it, I meant it in the correct way. Thank you, Mind Beverly. Mind your P's and Q's. Mind your damn manners. <laughs> I think I meant it in the correct way. Mm. I don't know his name, but he's always cranky asking, is it on? Yeah, he's cranky, John, but he's cranky <laughs> in a funny way. Like, he's messing around for the camera. But yeah, that's the get. He always plays like that that crankiness, rude, rude role. It's an expression that barkeepers use as so patrons keep track of their pints and quarts. Oh. I'm disappointed well, that I'm not crazy about my eggs. Whenever I have drinks, egg sandwich. I never looked at my drinks as pint and quarts. It was usually just Long Island iced tea. Jimmy must be typing, typing, typing. Long Island iced tea, Long Island iced tea. 
Or Here it is. Wine, 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 wine. Do not wear your Mitch. Oh, I'm sorry. Jimmy says, do not wear your Mickey watch to work. I know what he you never do for a living to. and going up and down those poles, the women throwing themselves at you, they might accidentally crack that glass. So better to be safe. Yeah, no, yeah, no this is not, not a work watch. Work. This stays on my wrist only at night and then when me and Kathy go out for Pints and quarts, yeah, that makes sense. P's and Q's, pints and quarts. Has anybody ever had Mr. Beast Burger? <coughs> <coughs> bless you, bless you. What is Mr. Beast That's Burger? That's funny that you say that because our son wants to try a Mr. Beast Burger. Oh, Who's... What's a Mr. Beast Burger? He's a YouTuber I know who... that has their own his own burger place. Really? And no. there's one in Queens. No. Yes. I looked it up. He does not have his own restaurant. He probably has a, a meal that's dedicated no. to him. He's not going to have no. it. No. No, he has one. Come here, he Lucas. Don't go yes, who said Mr. Beast Burger? Who said that? Okay, number one. Hold on. I'm not... Do... Whoever said that, do you follow Mr. Beast? No, I don't. But he's a YouTuber. I don't think he has his own restaurant. I've heard of Mr. Beast Burgers weren't that good. It's a food truck, Jamie. Uh, no, is it a food truck? Thank because you, MB. There is a plate. Mr. Beast Burger is in Omaha. Well... <clears throat> Miss JD says it's an overpriced garbage burger. <laughs> I bet I'd make a better burger than Mr. Beast Burger. <laughs> Mr. Beast Burger. Mr. Beast could suck it. How about those apples? Oh, no. Don't don't say that because he, he wants to try one. And here he comes. <laughs> Our son is a huge fan of Mr. Beast and has been wanting to try a Mr. Beast Burger for a very long time. So please. Shh. So please be nice. I was playing around. I thought I think it's a meal that he's got. No, I believe okay. he has a place. I'm gonna look it up. Because I already looked up Mr. Beast Burger oh, wow. and there is one in Queens. Uh, Excuse me. Ah, oh, thank you, JD. Yeah, I would rather have a Mr. Jamie Burger. <laughs> Mr. Beast Burger. I would have a Mr. Jamie Burger to be honest. Go to bed. All right, I'm done he with He did the a thing sandwich. one day, and it was something to do with it. Mr. Beast is the best guy in existence. Yeah? Yeah, he donates to charity. Yes, he does. He does do a lot for charity. I'm not going to deny him that. He does donate a lot of money to charity. Hey, isn't he like a kid? No. Oh. He's, he's an adult. Oh, okay. I don't mm -hmm. know. I've never watched him. Yeah, he's a cool guy. Uncle Tom looks mad at him. Alright. Lay down, buddy. Yeah, once anybody message, like, men, <laughs> mentioned Mr. Beast, our son, like, popped up. He's just like, don't you talk crap about Mr. Beast. Because he loves him so much, and he Jimmy, really does. He wouldn't say, he wouldn't say me. My lamb and her daughter heard he you guys at, talking at about numbers. Mr. Beast Burgers, and she said... He has his own food. Yes, he does. Franchise, and he is a YouTube. Yes, he does have his own. He does have his own burger place. He does. All right, so maybe we'll take a special trip to Queens and go get a, a Mr. Beast burger. He wanted to do that for his birthday. Well, we'll be in Florida for his birthday, most likely. No, we won't. They're going to be starting a lot of things, Walter, <laughs> before they start getting, they start losing their attention. Wouldn't be surprised if it's already in the works. Tell you, groceries are and donated the food to the bank. Really, Paisley? Mm-hmm. Mr. Beast does so much. He bought everything in the store and donated it. Yes, he did. He did because our son made me watch that video where he bought everything in the store and donated it. Really? Cleared the entire... How much is he? He cleared the entire store. That's why his merch is like seventy-five dollars. He made me. He made me watch the entire video. See, nobody How much does this guy make? I don't he, know. He's, shh, he's, shh, 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 shh. I know. I know, buddy. Trust me. I know. You made me watch wow. it. You made me watch it. <laughs> super, super rich. He's Holy very crap. passionate about Mr. Beast because Mr. Beast does a lot of good charities. Good. I didn't know. That. Mm hmm. And he constantly tells like, he I'm not making this. fun of he him. So you that. don't gotta look at me like, yeah, that's right. Lay down. 
<laughs> he was the richest YouTuber a couple of years ago? Yes. He still is. Oh. I saw, I saw that video right. where he cleared out the entire store. Listen, I don't even know what he looks like. All right, and I'm not. He's not, not a bad looking. About. He's not a bad looking dude. I wasn't saying that. I, like I know what he looks like. He's a very, he's a very honest person, and he's paying it forward. Good for him, it's great. Paying it forward. Uh, you should check out his his Squid Game video he did. Uh, you should check out because it said my daughter was. We're not going to tell you how old our son is. DoorDash delivered it to you tonight. Hello, brown eyes. Tracy had Mr. V's burger delivered tonight. Oh, be quiet. What is on the Mr. V's burger? Oh, what's the menu? What? What's on the burger itself? Mr. Beast, it's pretty good sandwich. No. No, I've never had it. No, He's no, no. never had it, but what's on it? I don't know. Oh, alright. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. Don't get Carl's grilled cheese. Okay. Yeah, don't get Carl's grilled cheese, apparently. He makes his burgers from Buffalo. Okay. Many of you who are the beast know it goes. The quarter pounder is better. I gotta be honest with you. Checking you. You don't want none of him, old man. He's establishing his <laughs> alpha presence. <laughs> it's now his kingdom. Roar. Roar. DoorDash is freaking expensive over Uber Eats. I don't know, John. We never ordered that. We never get Uber Eats or DoorDash or Grubhub. Yeah, I'm going to look into the, the burger after this. The only time I ever ordered Grubhub is when we were in Florida. It was just easier because we were leaving Krispy Kreme. And then I was like, oh, click, click, click. This is what we're getting. Boom, done. Never ordered food like that before. Yeah. I think it's awesome your son sees and understands the goodness in Mr. Beast's charitable ventures. Yes, he does. Oh, you got Tani? No. Mm -hmm. Now go take him and cuddle. Yeah, he's a good seed. Gets that from me. I just get my own damn food. There you go, yeah. Munchkin. Same thing. We just go get our own damn food. No, listen, if I knew how to use Uber Eats, or DoorDash, I would use it a lot more. Packy does all that stuff. I'm not paying extra for that. It was the thing to do now. It's cheaper to get it in the truck and get it. Buddy, you gotta hey. lay down. Go lay down, <clears throat> bud. I know we were talking about Mr. Beast, and you popped up. And people were like, oh my god. He knows Mr. Beast and knows how great he is. Alright, it's time to go lay down now, okay? Right, I'm done. <laughs> I'm getting the bellyache from the Christmas crack. Those services charge too much. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. That's why we never order from there. You were going to do it for me for McDonald's last week, but... No, I was going to order direct delivery from McDonald's, but it, oh. they didn't offer it. So that means we would add order Grubhub or DoorDash, which gotcha. we didn't. Uh, hands in your pockets and the restaurant pocket double dippers. All right, so John says during the lockdown it was the thing to do. Now it's cheaper to get in the truck and get it. Oh yeah, during the lockdown. <coughs> you couldn't leave your house past like 8 p.m. Yeah. Unless you were working. Oh, Alright, this is my last piece of Christmas crap. Poor form. Oh, yeah, I'm like that. Yes, it is. I don't know which one, this one or the other one. No, Jimmy, I'm done. you decide. 
You decide, Jimmy. Brown eyes, how are it's you feeling tonight, Jamie? Oh, not good still. I hate them chocolates. <laughs> I don't do that. LOL. I need what? Those. my dad almost uncle is <laughs> It's okay. So, Munchkin, you just need a chunkalo? You hate those chunkalos? <laughs> Alright, I'm done. You let me know when you want to <coughs> finish? I just don't want... I'm... <laughs> okay. You know, there's the last couple times I've made egg sandwiches. Haven't been into it. You know? Yeah. Well, you made them in the in the waffle maker, so. It wasn't bad, it's just, too, like, more than one is too much. And I'd rather be hungry tomorrow than force myself to eat that. And I'm cold. I'm cold, too. Under my nose. My fingers. They're very cold. <sighs> Why are you on house arrest? I'm not sharing that yet. Who wants it's to not know? public information. <sighs> uh, He's not at liberty to say. Oh, red's quick. Red's quick. It's usually a TikTok question. Oh, YouTube one. Mm, I feel like you were on TikTok and now you're here. Maybe. Mm, I feel like you were. Uh, are you ready for bed? Mm -hmm. We got cleaning up to do. Guys, thank you for hanging out with us tonight. We will see you tomorrow. Can you visit New York area? It's bagels and Italian sandwiches for you. Yeah, you missed those? Yeah, I know we're going to miss those when we're gone. What? Bagels and Italian sandwiches. Yeah. We're going to eat a lot of it before we go, though. You know? Have a great evening, JK. Thank you very much, Walter. Goodbye, Strawberry. Good night, girl. Good night, guys. Have a good night, guys.